people always have something to say and mostly it comes from people who are unhappy themselves and they want to hurt you the more you respond to them the more they hate you hello friends welcome to another episode of my life experiences my name is Wes Nyanewa Sosola, your usual host. I hope you are well in this year of our Lord, 2023, and you've started it on a positive note. I'm also very good. Just as a recap, last week, I was talking about risks associated with the new business investments, and I specifically talked about the risk of a Ponzi scheme. However, for today, I would like to focus on um, the workplace. What are the risks and the challenges that you may face as a new employee as you are pursuing to blend into the new culture, to fit in and to get into a twine in that environment, uh, in that climate and in that puzzle. These challenges may present themselves in two ways. It may come from without, from outside sources, and it may also come from internal, from within yourself, from self. Um, those are the kind of challenges that I want to focus on today. Those challenges that come from internal, they come from self, they come from within. Without much ado, I just want to go straight to the points. And the first challenge that I noted down was the challenge of underqualification. Your CV was well window dressed. You fitted into your CV all the um, requirements on the job description, all that selection criteria, you noted it so well and you just added it into your CV without necessarily having the technical ability and the relevant skills for that job. However, you were also advantaged to have good oratory skills and with those skills, you were able to persuade the interviewing panel so that they were deceived into recruiting you into this new position. You may also come about into this new job through the uh, favoritism, through nepotism. And this type of challenge is unsustainable because you've gotten into the job environment as an impositor. You are just an, an illusion of what the employer wanted to um, recruit in the first place. So in no time it backfires because you fail to deliver on your objectives because you don't have the technical ability and the skills required for you to deliver in that job so sooner or later you may be exposed so you've got two options either you wait they should um uh, they should lay you off or you just resign because you know that you are underqualified for the position and the second challenge that i talked about is fear of the unknown you are just afraid Based on people's appearance, you are afraid because of the color of their skin. You are just afraid um, because you are a novice and you're thinking, how do I, maybe with the ambience of the place, how do I fit in this, in this kind of environment? So what can you do in that circumstance? Know that we are all the same in the eyes of God. Whether somebody looks so ambient, whether somebody looks uh, has good, different looks and different color of their skin, accept it that this everybody is... Um, uh, we are all the same in the eyes of God and you can do the job just as well as they can do the job That's what you have to put in your mind and the third the third um, Challenge that you may face is the challenge of self-doubt. You have come to the workplace. You are doubting yourself You've got the technical capability. You've got all the relevant skills for the job, but you doubt yourself Can I do this job? Do I deserve this or so and so can do it much better than I can do it? You have that low self-esteem, you have that inferiority complex. So my advice in this case is read motivational books. Read books that can motivate you to have courage to remove that low self-esteem. And the fourth challenge that you may face is the challenge of uh, listening to external voices. You listen to what other people are saying about you. You're listening to gossip. You're listening to grapevine. But I just want to encourage everyone who is in that work environment. I just want to, to, to encourage you that people are going to say no matter what you do, whether you do something or whether you don't, whether you say something or whether you don't, people always have something to say. And mostly it comes from people who are unhappy themselves and they want to hurt you. 
the more you respond to them, the more they hate you. So it's better just to ignore it, to focus on your job. How do I improve my job? Consult with your supervisors if you've got any questions. Shut your ears out to outside noise. So that's how you can overcome some of these challenges. So three things as I wind up. Work on yourself. Seek to be the best that God intends you to be. Present your authentic self, not a fraud. Present yourself the way you are, your technical abilities, your skills. Present yourself the way you are. Don't present an illusion of who you want to be, but present the way you are. Then in so doing, you'll be able to achieve your objectives and goals in your, your, your present employment. But don't forget to aspire for more. And how do you aspire for more? As you aspire for more, you have also to develop your capacity. You have to be um, continuously progressing yourself by studying, taking up new studies. If you obtain new skills, you'll be able to be recognized and you can be promoted or you can apply for a different job altogether because you have attained the relevant skills for that position. And finally, we are all the same in the eyes of God. Drop down that inferiority complex. Drop down that low self-esteem. We are all the same in the eyes of God. What somebody else can do, you can do also. What a person of a different color can do, you can do also. What a person who looks different than you can do, of a different sex can do, you can do also in the workplace. So just stay positive. Know that if God has placed you at a place, you definitely can deliver in your job. Thank you so much, guys. I hope this will help somebody as you seek to blend in to a new work environment, as you try to navigate some of the challenges that you face and you are looking for solutions. I hope this is going to help you. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you. Stay blessed.